Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose the correct answers and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. Two mice are heterozygous for albinism. The dominant allele, capital A, codes for the normal pigmentation and the recessive allele, small a, codes for no pigmentation. What percentage of the offspring would have an albino phenotype? And when we have two alleles, one is dominant, another one is recessive, uh, two alleles can make three genotypes. One would be homozygous dominant, another one would be heterozygous genotype, and the third one would be homozygous recessive. And these two genotypes would make one phenotype that is going to be normal phenotype and homozygous recessive genotype would make another phenotype that is going to be albino. When we have two parents that is both heterozygous, when we build the Punnett square we can predict uh, the frequency of the genotypes and phenotypes in the progeny. So here we would have capital A, capital A, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. And as you see, three out of four genotypes would make one phenotype, or this is going to be 75%, and one out of four would make albino phenotype, or this is going to be 25%. So, as you see, the correct answer would be answer A. And next question, what process is responsible for independent assortment of alleles? And here is the four answers to choose from. Answer A, mitosis. Mitosis is a division of the cells that is not sex cells. And this type of division could be found only in eukaryotes, prokaryotes divide by the binary fusion. So we start with uh, diploid uh, mother cell and end with two diploid daughter cells. So this is brief description of the mitosis and if we compare with meiosis we start with uh, diploid cell and this cell would undergo two cycles. So uh, we call this meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. And as a result would be four haploid cells that we call gametes. So once again we start with a diploid cell here and end up with 1N or haploid gametes here. So gametes can be sperm or egg cells de depending on the sex of the individual and uh, if we compare with mitosis in mitosis one mother cell would produce two identical to mother cell uh, daughter cells and in meiosis we start with uh, one diploid cell and uh, the result of division for daughter cells that is going to be genetically different from the mother cells and we call such cells gametes and this gametes going to be haploid. So as you see independent assortment happens during meiosis and uh, cytokinesis is the process of division cytoplasm and uh, this also happens uh, both in uh, meiosis and mitosis. And uh, answer D, DNA replication would be integral part of uh, both mitosis and meiosis, but uh, our answer would be answer C, this is going to be meiosis, because DNA replication would be just a part of this process of the sex cell division. And this is all for today, thank you for attention, please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day, thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, 
and see you in the next video. Goodbye.